Hello. Uh, I don't really know how to start a video like this, mainly because uh, we're purely just having a chat today. We don't have a big dramatic intro of, uh, guys, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be sneaking into the White House today. We're just having a chat today. So I guess to prove to you guys that uh, I am actually in a good mood today before we get on to the actual subject matter of today's video, I guess we'll start today's video with um, a cool stunt. Right, okay, I guess if I, uh, if I go from here... Oh, no, no chance, no chance am I making that jump. That jump could have easily broken my ass. But anyway, guys, welcome to today's video. I do hope you're all doing well. It's been a minute. It's, it's been a very hot minute. And there's a reason for it. There, there is definitely a reason for it. And I want to explain all of that to you guys in today's video. I don't want it to seem like I'm disappearing with no explanation. I want you guys to be 100% up to date on what's going on on this channel. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's get to it. So right now, I'm actually reporting to you guys live from quarantine. Uh, yeah, your boy's locked up for two weeks. Uh, as you can see by my prison talent. I've got two days down and 12 to go. Uh, for the record, uh, I've not tested positive. I've not even had a test, actually. But uh, allegedly, I have come into contact with someone who did test positive. So uh, for now, I'm inside. Uh, no idea who it was. Uh, it's probably from all the sex I've been having. That's getting cut. That's definitely getting cut. Oh, God, that's getting cut. But, you know, everything has its uses. I'm now going to probably have more time to focus on this channel for at least a little bit, which is uh, unfortunate for you lot. But, you know, it's, it's a good thing for me. I bet if you're watching this video in, like, 2026 or something, then I probably gave you a little bit of nostalgia there. Oh, yeah, I remember the coronavirus. That Ah, look at this guy in 2020. He's got absolutely no idea about the boxing match between Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump yet. Ha <laughs> what a simple time he's living in. But anyway, on to the actual topic of this video that I've, I've actually made this video to talk about. Let's actually talk about this channel. I've been making YouTube videos on this channel for five years now. I had just started year eight at the time. How you doing guys? My name is Comedy Dan and today is my first ever YouTube video. I've wanted to do YouTube for so, so damn long, so I am so excited! This was back in the days when I was too scared to even use my real name on the internet, so I called myself Comedy Dan. You know, because the government would just steal all my information if they knew that my name was Tom. I can't believe I did that. But you know, I've grown up a little bit since then, and uh, throughout my entire teenage years, pretty much, I have been committed to uploading on this channel. Because this is my dream. I definitely say it too much already, but YouTube has always been my dream for... Pretty much as long as I can remember. Which, in my opinion, is the key difference between my generation of YouTubers and the older generation of YouTubers. YouTube wasn't a thing that KSI was born with. It's just something that he found. You know, when people like that started, there was absolutely no career value in YouTube and there was definitely no monetary value in it. It was just a fun hobby that turned into a job. Whereas then you've got people my age, on the other hand, who were born into a world with YouTube, pretty much. YouTube as a platform was founded when I was two years old. I can't say I really remember a world without YouTube at all, really. So pretty much the whole time, that I've been making videos on this channel. And that's not taking into account the Minecraft channel I had before this one. And that's not taking into account the epic action movies that I made when I was about seven. I've always obviously been able to see the potential that YouTube has, which is something that like the pioneers of YouTube never had. But anyway, I'm rambling like mad. What I'm saying right now doesn't even really have much to do with the topic that I intended on talking about today. The thing that I wanted to talk about today is the fact that I was in year eight when I first started this channel. I'm now in year 13, which uh, if you live in the UK, uh, you will know what that means. Yeah, A-levels. Uh, I don't know. What the fuck just came out of me just then? Dragon, uh, leaf blower, I don't know. So yeah, for the next academic year, I'm doing my A-level. Which is shit. Like, it is it's, it is so shit. I love making videos. Like, I love the process. I love the community. I, I love the platform. I've met some of the best people I've ever known because of this channel. And in the whole time I've been making videos, I've never really had something get in the way like this where I fully just do not have time to make videos. Obviously, I did have GCSEs as well. Like, I did take time out to focus on them too. Like, when I did my GCSEs, I quit YouTube for maybe about a month or two. Then just got straight back on it again. Bish, bash, bosh, Bob's your uncle. Like, no one even really seems to notice. But, uh, no. Um, A-levels are much more time-consuming, unfortunately. The reason why I'm making this video is to, one, just get some shit off my chest and just sort of, like, ex express what I've been thinking for a while now. And, two, it's to make 100% sure that you guys know that I'm not going anywhere. I want to make it 100% clear that this is still my passion. Like I said, I love doing this, and I want everyone to 100% know that just because there are inevitably going to be less uploads on the channel this year, that does not mean that I've lost my drive to do this. Like, the drive to do this is 100% still there. It's just that in order to make the videos of the quality that I want, it, it's not really feasible at the moment with school. Like, it, it, unfortunately, it's just not. You see, if this was like 2017, I probably wouldn't even be making this video. Because back then, every single video I made was similar production value to the video that I'm making right now. A Tom's GW video back then would more consist of, hey guys, today I'm going to be telling you about five things we all do while walking to school. Make sure to subscribe for more fidget spinners or something. I think it's a mixture 
of me getting older and also YouTube just moving on as a platform, like people don't really make those videos anymore. And if they were to do like a wanky little video like that, it probably would be a second channel thing. Obviously, uh, the size of my channel right now, uh, th there's no point in having a second channel. So at the stage I'm at now, the videos that I do want to make are more sort of these like big kind of bold ideas. I guess the YouTube feed video is probably a better example of the direction that I want to head in. Of course, by no means am I suggesting that I'm the first person to try and break out of smaller content and go for these bigger ideas. It's sort of what everyone's already done. But in this day and age of YouTube, I would never want to be seen as like a like an Ollie White. If, if you, you, you get what I'm trying to say. To cut to the chase, the videos that I want to make now are going to take much longer to make, inevitably. My aim, at least, is to make videos that are much more three-dimensional and sort of like span across multiple days. It's where I actually sort of go out and do something. Obviously, the way the world is right now does hinder that a little bit. Obviously, the situation that I'm in right now hinders it a lot. I can't even go see anyone. But I think what I'm trying to say amongst all of this is the fact that sitting down and just talking about something doesn't really feel like enough anymore. Like, I remember hearing years ago when TGF went on the, uh, the True Geordie podcast, I remember them saying pretty much exactly this, that like they would try to just sit down and make a video where they just tell a story or something like that, and it just didn't feel enough, like they needed to actually do something. Because I have so much pride in creating content as well, sitting in front of a camera, speaking. Like, sometimes I feel like we can get away with it when there's something... It, uh, when, when there's an opportunity for our uh, personalities to be just like yo this is entertaining but if we're just speaking like i did a story time on my personal channel and it got good feedback i could do more of those i just don't want to do it because i don't feel like sitting in front of a camera doing that i'd rather be doing crazy fun shit you want to be out of the house yeah man that's not to say that i plan on cementing my head to a microwave but uh you know i can't make any promises could happen mom that's a joke but yeah uh point is i want to be looking at much bigger better more exciting uploads but with the current situation with me doing a levels we're not going to be looking at frequent uploads until that's done unfortunately and i know that uploading less does make it seem like i'm not as into youtube anymore and i fully am like i hate the fact that i'm not going to be able to upload as much as I'd like. I mean, as I'm filming this video, I'm actually just coming to the end of Mox right now, and uh, that's the reason why I haven't uploaded in the last month or so. And I mean, to be completely honest, like, just in that time, I already feel like I've lost a connection with the audience a little bit, especially when you've got some of my friends absolutely smashing it on YouTube at the moment. Guys like Marley and Owen have stayed focused on YouTube in the time that I haven't, and the success they've had is insane. Like, of course, Marley's recently launched his own clothing line, which is sick. Like, he, he smashed it. If you haven't already copped your goated merch, then I'll leave a link in the description, because I'd highly recommend it. It's something Marley's worked hard on for quite a while and honestly to see it go down so well was amazing. And then of course you've got Owen who's kind of gone in the direction that I also sort of want to go in which is forgetting the concept of regular uploads and just making the absolute best videos you can. I really enjoyed Owen's last two videos. The one where he uh, obviously pranked me with a study splash. Well almost pranked me. <laughs> nah he didn't quite. It was an amazing video though and uh, a video that I thought was even more amazing was uh, the video where he snuck a picture of him into the, uh, the National Football Museum. I'll leave a link down below to that video as well if you haven't already watched it because it was brilliant. Seeing my mates do so well on YouTube is something that makes me so happy, but it also really strives me to want to do well as well. Don't get it twisted. These guys are obviously some of my best friends and I obviously want the best for them, but the competitive little shit inside of me wants to make sure that if they're doing well, I am as well. So I guess to bring this video to an end, I, I want to propose something so that school and YouTube can kind of like perform a balancing act in like the best way I possibly can. I am thinking of starting to stream on Twitch. It's something that a lot of YouTubers do and I feel like that live interactive element kind of like adds a kind of connection between the YouTuber and the viewer in a way that you can't really have through this. Like I can interact with you guys on like Twitter and Instagram or whatever social media but it still isn't quite the same as that live interaction which I do think is really important. I used to do live streams on YouTube quite a lot but I feel like everyone's kind of moved to Twitch. In terms of building a community I'd say that Twitch is where you want to be. So uh, yeah hopefully you guys will uh, see me on Twitch soon. My Twitch is probably linked down below. Uh, I say probably because I'm so forgetful that I, I don't even know if I'm going to remember to do that. Uh, the other thing I want to say is that uh, I'm, I'm planning on posting on TikTok more. Who would have thought it? Who would have thought the day would come when I'd say that sentence? Let's not forget that less than two years ago, I thought the title I made a TikTok was shocking enough on its own. The fact that I would ever even make a TikTok at all was shocking enough to be in the title. But I mean, look at TikTok now. Like, you can't even knock it. Those pricks knew exactly what they were doing when they decided to switch up musically. Like it or lump it, TikTok's where the people are now. So uh, I'm going to be posting more on there. Famous TikToker Tom GW will be on his way. So uh, yeah, that, that is pretty much the end of today's video. Thank you 
you so much for getting this far in the video. Like, honestly, if there's only one person left, if I'm only talking to you right now, like, it, it, it's only you. It might only be you that's got this far. But the thing that I want to say to you, uh, the, the single person that has made it this far in this video, is thank you so much for understanding. Well, you, you might not even understand, to be fair. You might be thinking, fuck off, Tom, just upload videos. The final summary point that I want to make in this video, uh, the point that I've been trying to make all video in an incredibly long-winded way, is that I'm not going anywhere. I might upload less, I might be less active on social media, but my passion for this is not going anywhere. I want this video to be a reference point so that if anyone thinks, oh, Tom hasn't uploaded in a while, you know for a fact that I'm alright and that I, I still want to make videos. Because this passion of mine is head and shoulders above any other passion of mine. Woo! Well, there we have it. I'm going to be honest, I feel a little bit dizzy from staring at the lights for so long, so I, I'm going to go have a lie down. There is still so much more that I want to say in this video, but I just don't have time. Like, this video could end up being like an hour long. And I know for a fact that if I let myself have a second take of this video, I'm probably just not going to be happy with that and then be like, oh no, I'll do it a third time, I'll do it a fourth time, I'll do it fucking 87 times. I know what I'm like when it comes to being a perfectionist, so I'm going to use this. This is out on the channel now. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys on Twitch. I'll see you guys on TikTok. Uh, eventually, I'll see you guys on this channel again. We ain't going no uh, we're, we're still here. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, drop a like, subscribe. Uh, that, that would all mean the world as usual. Bye-bye.